All right, welcome, welcome. So I got my first house, and I've been looking through the crown store and uh, looking at the houses and what they got were available. And uh, I think one of the reasons why Grand Theft Auto became so big, the online part, and it's still active, very active until now, because they keep on giving content. And one of them, like everybody always, you know, when you play online, you always want to show off and always want to buy stuff, decorate stuff. So I think it's pretty cool to actually have this house system that they have. So I want to check it out. So in this, you know, we're going to see if we can fit all, all of them in one video. So on the first one, you know... Let's not waste our time. Let's go on the first one. Try to sell you. You know, I'm gonna try to be your real estate agent. As you can see, we have multiple, multiple houses, different colors, different shapes, different entity, different settings. Whatever you want, we got it. All right, we got it from the mansions to the small rooms to the big lots dark places dark places wow uh we have a cavern for you buddy uh what are you looking for we have a mansion we have a house a manor whatever you want keep okay all right so first on our list and our first categories or i mean category is the staple homes there are one three six nine twelve thirteen staple homes and we're gonna start it in the autumn's autumn's gate uh, in the heart of the rift just outside the lively small town of nimoten you will find this sturdy wooden home with a large hurt hurt or heart to keep you warm in the skyrim winter and a stone wall to keep out the trolls so we're gonna check this place out, buddy. Cause I've been checking them out, so I'd rather like, um, you know, make a video and you know make a big first impression in the houses. Autumn's Gate. Very excited to make this video, actually. Cause I like this. I like stuff like this. I really do. We should really make stuff like this. All right. This is for sixty thousand. Affordable. If you work hard for it, you know, hustle and everything. You have a nice, big, sturdy front door and a nice, big, sturdy walls around you. Decent size front yard, as you can see. Um, that's about it. So not bad, not bad for 60k. Uh, house looks very decent. Homey, actually. You tell me. Let's go inside. Alright, on your inside is a studio house. Because it doesn't have any rooms. And that's what studios are. It's a studio house for 60k. It's not bad. Decent size. A very decent size. 60k. I would consider it. I see. You know, if you're interested in stuff like this. Let's see. The furnished one. Oh. As you can see. You can feel a bed. Chest. A few chairs. A few tables. All right, uh, you can have your own bar if you would like. For 60k, all of these can be yours without furnish, of course. I think for furnish, you know, 2,900 crowns. Oh no, <laughs> no. I mean, yes, do it, do it, just do it. 2,900 crowns is like cheap. <laughs> our, our next one will be the barb hook private room 
Like every busy port, Skywatch has a simi underside. A private room at the barb hook offers easy access to the criminal classes in a quick escape from the nearby docks. The room is too small for dueling. It's not allowed, it's not permitted to be inside. I mean, it's not allowed that you fight inside these rooms because you will wake up the neighbor. Whoa. All right. Barb hook private room. 11k. And this is unfurnished. And uh one thing I like about it, it will be the four windows. It's nice, comfy, small. You don't need anything if you're in a criminal area. Not too bad, and it will be 11k, 11,000. And um, if it's furnished, let's see what it looks like. A nice little apartment for single people or a couple, if you'd like. There you go. I like it. And on our third one, I would like to show you the Black Vine Villa. Uh, it's an old stone house just across a dark jungle stream from a haunted Aelid or Eyelid ruin. And uh, who wouldn't want to live there, right? Let me go check it out. Oh, what happened? Uh, 36 minutes. Where were we? Oh, here. Black Vine Villa. Let's go. All right, this is the Black Van Villa for 54,000. As you can see, you have a nice front yard, and it goes a little bit like quarter way on one side, uh, and the other one is goes all the way down. Nice homey place out in the woods. For young adventurers who would like to seek a very wow and this is 54,000 okay you have one two three four five six you have six windows the room looks bright yeah it's a fireplace all right I would like to show you what it looks like. There you go. Imagine living in a place for 54,000 a year. Look at that. How nice is that? You have your own bar. You have a bed. A fireplace. Comfy. Affordable. And furnish is affordable for 54,000. Even I would consider buying one of these. And on to the next one. one huh, huh. Where were we? 
Our next one will be the Captain Margot's Place. Uh, you know famous Breton, Mer you know the famous Breton merchant. Explorer Captain Margot hasn't been seen, hasn't been seen since her ship, the Golden Spriggan, sailed off over the horizon into the Sea of Pearls, which makes her house near the docks in Daggerfall available for you. Let's go check it out. It's owned by a famous person, so that proves that this is uh, a landmark, a good landmark. Good landmark in the world of Tamriel, and you can own this piece. You can own this piece for a very affordable price. You can own this. Whoa, fifty-six thousand coins. You can own this piece of land for 56,000 coins. As you can see, you have plenty of windows. You have one, two, three, four, five, six windows. No front yard, no backyard, just one big square. But it is owned by a very famous merchant as you can see this is how a very famous merchant lives and you can have all of this for 50 cents i mean all of this space for fifty-six thousand. all right onward to the next one but to tell you the truth I do not like it. I do not recommend it to anybody to buy that. Unless you are very rich and you would like to own a very famous uh, house or a place for 56000 Like I said, this is already 56 54 Like the difference. Alright, the next one will be the... Pyrodilic. Pyrodilic? Pyrodilic jungle house. An imperial, of course, in a to is a an imperial, of course, is at home anywhere in Tamriel. This compact house at the Baandari trading post in the in Malabaltor is a bit of Kyrodil in Valenwood and just steps away from the fine food and drink at the Silver Moon's Inn. So Let's check this out. The last one I do not recommend. If just 56 is a lot for a very small space. So uh, that might be like something below. But then again, if it's in the famous area, owned by a famous person, and you want to have that, you can have it. Alright, our next one will be Kyrodilic Jungle House for 71000 You have a nice big, big tree. Nice big trees all over. You have your own front yard overlooking, well... You have to jump. I have to jump. It's overlooking the city. Or town. Let's go inside. And here it is. Ooh. 71,000. One small square. One. Two. Windows. Dark. And one fireplace. For you. To own. For... 71,000. It might be in a very famous area. As you can see. In the picture. And furnished, it would look like this. Uh, kind of dark, actually. 
So for seventy one thousand, it looks like you're in like a famous uh, area. So it's up to you. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Flaming Nix Deluxe Garrett. Even if you don't personally have a taste for the famous fire pit dancing at the Flaming Nix, you have to admit it adds a certain cachet to having a room there. Not to mention an unusual fragrance. Room is too small for dueling. Uh oh. It looks like this is gonna be one of the. Oh, look at the place. If it's not raining. Pretty. Alright, uh, looks like this is gonna be one of those apartments. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those apartments. Starter apartments. So probably around 11,000, 10,000, around that, maybe. Let me log in. All right, we got distracted. But it's okay. It's fine. Right. It's snowing right now. I mean, the time that I'm videoing this or recording it, it's snowing. That's why connection sucks. forever all right all right <laughs> we got distracted we gotta resume right away and our house is the flaming nix garrett let's do this check it out let's check it out you see what i did there Uh, it looks like this is gonna be like one of those uh, uh, starter house, like I said. So. Oh my god. What happened? What happened here? All right, so for 13,000, you could get this very nice, small, affordable room. I mean, for 13,000, starting out and you haven't done the first quest to get your first free apartment, then I mean, 13K, something to think about. But 
13,000, you can save another, you know, like you can save twice of that and get like a nice one. So just be, be aware of that. And if it is furnished, it will look like this. Not bad. I like it. Especially the 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 lights. It made it um brighter. Alright. So for a starter house, 13k. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh next one will be a hammer dead bungalow. It may be small, but at least it's gloomy. And if you enjoy beating up on your friends like I do, it's right next door to the arena. And that's by Gorgok Grow Martag, Orkish Realtor. Ooh, it's right next to the arena. Let's check this baby out. And pray. You see what I did there again? That's right. Whoa, for 65,000, is this what you get? I mean, yeah, for 65,000, this is what you get, man. You know, this nice, big, medium size, long, rectangle place. Uh, there's no backyard, there's no front yard. And fully 65,000, oof. Fully furnished. This is what it would look like, fully furnished. But 65,000, that's a bit much. That's a bit much, I gotta say. But, again, if you would like to spend the money, please do so. And our next one will be the Humble Mud. A mud house is a constant reminder of the impermanence of life and that we are but standing waves in the river of existence but one still wishes it to look nice and comfortable and decorate accordingly of course i like that the humble mud this is very expensive so pay up pay up or shut up that's what it is. All right, humble mud for 40 grand, not bad, but for a square like this, I mean for a circle like this, I don't know, is that a window? You have a very unique window. It's oval, so you can see everything. It looks like a igloo, Indian kind of looking thing, and um, yeah, you have same don't you don't have any fireplace though oh is that humble mud courtyard, humble mud courtyard. leave home 
All right. Uh, you have a courtyard or a backyard for forty thousand. Forty k. Forty k. Oh, I like it. I like the accent, so when you come out, you know, in the morning, you can go out here, have your coffee. If you smoke, have a cigarette. If you do 420, you can do 422 and look up here. Chilling. All right. Not bad. 40 grand. Let's see it furnish. Anything? Did anything change? Maybe the inside. Oh. Not bad. As you can see. You have a very nice homey. In the mud. But the very important thing is 40 grand. One nice size room. And a backyard. 40 grand. Come on. It's a deal. It's a good deal. Especially if you're trying to get out of your parents' house. It's a good deal. This is very good. Our next one will be the Kragen home. Well, this residence might not be in Kragen Moor's best neighborhood, but if you're looking for classic Dunmary architecture at an affordable price, this house, this townhouse, certainly fits the bill. Let's go check it out. It's a bad neighborhood, so if you're like one of those tough gangster, you know, tough. You wanna be tough, you wanna live tough, you wanna be the tough. And see toughness everywhere you go. This is the place for you. And very affordable. And a Dunmary architecture. Look at this. Look at this. It's like one of those Japanese things that you can actually put here where they do barbecue, right? You put here. You have like a little barbecue over here, hanging here. And everybody's sitting down. And on top of here is where your bed is. You're chilling here. All right, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows, nine windows, and a barbecue pit. Nine windows and a barbecue pit. Cathedral looking. Uh, whatever kind of architecture they said it is. Sixty nine for sixty nine thousand. The other one was 60 grand. You got a front courtyard, but it doesn't have nine windows. This one has nine windows and a, like a semi, semi second floor, kind of looking terrace, kind of looking thing. Boom. There you go. There you go. Simple. Nice. Cozy. Nice, simple, cozy. And this is your uh, Kragen home for 69k. Our next one will be the Moonmert house. A small elevated house on an idyllic plantation in the mild and hospitable climb. Of Kinarty's Roost. This one will find that sweet paradise. Let's go check it out. So this is 69k. Nine windows. 69. Nine windows. I would consider it. Consider it. But of course, there's always better option. No, but it depends on you. Affordability over style or style over affordability or functionality or what's the other word I'm looking for? Hmm. 
like I, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Uh, it's like, like the, like the family familiarity of the, you know, of the place. So, it's all that. So f this is the Moonmert house, and it's for fifty grand. Fifty grand. No backyard, no front yard. A very nice looking collar though. Look at that gold. If you like style. And you got one window, two window, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven windows. So this room will be bright. Nice, cozy, bright for 50 grand. Just like I said, very stylish. Wow, I like it. Just no front yard, no backyard. You know, I think something like this and another 10 grand, like a mini backyard, will be a very good deal. But <clears throat> that's Moonmert House. And our next one will be the Sisters of the Sands apartment. Oh. Do we even dare to look at it? We're gonna look at it. Of course we're gonna look at it. You wanna check it out, right? Sisters. There's like a lot of sisters here. A lot of women. You know? Like, if you're a guy, I guess. Surrounded by sisters. If you like big sisters, small sisters, thin sisters, fast sisters. I'm kidding. So uh, in the Sentinel, the best way to hide out in plain sight is with a private room in the Sisters of the Sands, the town's largest inn. It also has the best food in the city. Oh, look at that. You're gonna be by a um, place where there's good place to eat. And it is, and is the place King Paharajad. Sands, Sense too for takeout. The room is too small for dueling. So again, I guess this is going to be one of those, uh, one of those rooms. Beginner rooms. So probably around like, yeah, you know, 13, 13, 14, 15, you know, maybe. All right, Sisters of the Sands apartment for 12,000 you get a door You get one window You get three windows And two lamps Affordable dependable Stealthy I guess because you're hiding you're by the desert so not too bad And on our next one will be Snug Fud, a perfect grat oak fud home grown by a home singer from the very roots of Elden Root, compact, comfortable, and convenient to everything. Praise Zen. Hmm. Looks interesting. Fud. Anybody ever want to live in a pod? This is your thing now. This is your home. All right, for forty-five thousand, you get 
a snug pod. You get a pod. Basically a pod. And you get one, two, three, four, five. Five windows. A nice ceiling. Oval. For 45,000. Oh, nice. So if you want to be one of those hardcore living, this is your, this is a thing for you. Alright. Or on our next one. Last, I think. The last of the staple homes is the twin arches. It may be small, but it's solid and it keeps the sandstorm out. The scenery is magnificent. But if you're in the mood for civilization, it's right outside the south gate of Halin Stand. Let's check it out. Let me give you a tour. Let me show you what they have. Everything comes for a price. Affordability, style, bragging rights, whatever you want. This looks like it's gonna be big. Whoa. For seventy three thousand, I don't know where you are. Where are we? For seventy three thousand, you get a nice front yard, a couple of trees, a nice little terrace kind of looking thing over here that goes inside it has a door to go inside not bad for 72,000 not bad nice cozy you have two three what's that uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i guess around ten eleven we have one big nice area here. 73,000. Not too bad. And it would look like this. I like it. I like it. 73k. This is something for anybody. Something to achieve. You know, you have something cheaper, affordable. It has your space and everything, but for 73,000, you have a nice big L looking shape area. You have a little second floor terrace over here, and you have a nice front backyard. I mean, 73,000, you know, a little bit more of hustle once you reach maybe what 60k, you know, another like not bad. So guys, that's it. That's all the houses, staple homes, and um, that's all thirteen of them. With our next one, next I guess next video will be the, all the classic homes. So there will be three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, right? Yep, three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18, 21, 24 houses to look at on the next one. I don't know. I mean, it's probably going to be too long. Um, we can actually include... We'll try probably getting all the notable homes too on the next one. Alright. These are all for the affordable houses, so peace out.